I'm Ryan Fitzpatrick, Senior Vice President, Lifestyle Marketing and Branded Entertainment with Encompass International, here to talk to you about the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Escape Room Challenge. Hey Ryan, tell us what you're showing here at Comic-Con with the Black Ops Challenge. Well, the Black Ops Challenge uh, here really gave us an interesting opportunity to give people a glimpse into the world that Treyarch has created with, uh, with their zombies mode of this game, um, specifically giving people a look into the world and the lair of the magician Nero, as well as our, um, our femme fatale by bringing the uh, burlesque room to life. So what are some of the challenges when designing uh, essentially built on the go trap room that you had to design right here in front of the convention center? Some of the challenges in designing this experience are really specifically to do with the location and the time frame. We've got a ton of people, a ton of traffic, which both works for and against us here. Um, it's incredibly difficult moving in equipment, trucks, uh, heavy machinery, and also just finding the right great crew that we need to pull this off because there's a lot of competition at Comic-Con here. There are a lot of other activations and uh, companies activating in this space. So really one of the main challenges in, in finding the right talent to work with us here. So talk about what people will see, who, who can be here, what people will experience inside the trap room. People here are going to get a, a pretty killer experience. Uh, you've got two different routes that you can take. You can go uh, through the alley to uh, Nero's lair, the magician, uh, and this feels and looks very much like that kind of classic noirish magician sort of uh, uh, study, if you will. And then you can also go to the other direction, which is the Burlesque Club. This is the place where the femme fatale in the game, in the game uh, voiced by Heather Graham, this is her space in the game. So it uh, gives people an opportunity to kind of explore, find out maybe a little bit about the backstory that you haven't learned yet, and uh, you know dig into who these characters are and why they might be in the place that they are. So talk a little about like how this like how you worked with Activision and Call of Duty to develop this trap room. We worked with uh, both the team at Activision and Treyarch. The team at Treyarch were incredibly supportive and really enthusiastic about this uh, approach and really got behind the idea of turning something that uh, would typically be thought of as a much more kind of run and gun, really highly adrenaline fueled uh, experience into something that's a little bit more eerie, a little bit more ominous, and more of an interpretation of the actual zombies mode that Treyarch is known to create. Uh, so the experience has been great on our, on our side. We uh, love actually working with the, with the team there. They've been able to feed us some interesting kind of plot points and a little bit of background, but also allow us, our team at Encompass, our, and the team at Activision to kind of take a little bit of creative liberty to fill in some of the gaps that have never been addressed in the story. So for us, that's a really exciting thing because we, we love what Treyarch and Activision have done with this thus far. Is this open to the public? Do you have to have a Comic-Con badge to experience this? Uh, you absolutely don't need a Comic-Con badge to experience this. It's uh, completely open to the public. We're on the corner of uh, First and J, directly across the street from the San Diego Convention Center. Now, any plans to like maybe do this? You know, do like a road trip around the country with this type of trap room for other people to experience it? Uh, that's something I think the the team at Activision will be largely in charge of. It's something we'd love to do. It's a uh, it's definitely been something where we've had a lot of great learnings in the first couple days here and we're looking forward to the next few days and constantly uh, improving upon the experience for all the people here at Comic-Con. Last question, where can people find more information about this, this specific unique experience? If you need any more information, you can follow Call of Duty on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.